Hello, welcome back to the Iron Man Wild Challenge with me, Shepo, or Iron Sheps. Uh, in the last episode, we were all the way up in the Eastern Plaguelands, and today we are in Stormwind. If you remember, we had a quest uh, off the back of the WoW 13th anniversary, and I've handed that in, and we actually get a repeatable quest from Historian Law, from the Time Walkers. And he's going to ask us just random questions about WoW. And I'm not very good at answering these, but I've been doing it the past few days. We're getting about 14k experience each time. Uh, so it's worth doing, because it's like almost effort free. You know, if you know the answer at least. Okay, it is time to reflect on the events that have brought us to this moment. A celebration of our great history and the events that shape it. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. Okay, let us test your knowledge of history then. Razormane, Bristleback are two feuding tribes of which race? Quillbore, Nolls, Saberon, or Harpies? Well, I think that's Quillbore. I think I actually know this one, yes. That is correct. It is! Good Brilliant. Day. Any friend of Greymane is a friend of mine. So, hey, nearly 15k experience. Uh, we're very close to levelling. But we aren't going to level. So, um, right, well, that's that. That's a whole lot of fun. Like I said, I've been doing that every day. I've been keeping myself in Stormwind, but now we're actually going to Hearthstone back to the Plaguelands. And uh, that, that ended well on the music. Uh, what's this? Oh, we've also, I guess, we've also got the Pilgrim's Bounty. Wow, I completely forgot about this, not being American and everything. Sharing a bountiful feast. Well, I'm not going to bother with that, because I think we get, like, we get some buffs from it, and that's completely useless for us. And that opening quest isn't going to give us a lot of XP, so there's really no point... Need assistance? Let's just get on. Uh, I think we're just going to go to the Crown Guard Tower. Alrighty, and we were looking for resonating schools. I can't remember whether I recorded it or not, but I was getting confused about where this quest was. Uh, because it's not marked on our map. Uh, actually, you know, if you read the she read the quests. I should know this, having played in vanilla. Read the bloody quests. Um, bring five resonating schools to Chromate Crown Guard Tower in the Eastern Plaguelands. I require a rare reagent. I've read this out before. Okay, take this crystal and hunt Scourge champions for their school. The crystal is enchanted. If a champion took part in a battle, then you will pass the crystal over its school. It will resonate. Bring me a da 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 you will find Scourge champions in the Fungal Vale, and we'd been to the Fungal Vale already. Uh, and that's why I have three of these fetid skulls already. Oh, where was that? I'm not going to go all the way back there for that rare. Lick the Hunter. Yeah, I've been enjoying the quests here so far. Uh, I, di I mean, I spoke a little bit in the previous episode. How I, I spent time here in vanilla. Um, you couldn't really avoid it, but I didn't spend a whole lot of time here. I didn't complete all of the quests. I, th I think it's because I didn't like it. There was only one flight path. There's, I mean, a lot of zones only really had one flight path. And there was massive obstructions in the way, which meant you always had to walk around. And uh, I think I was on a PvP server at that point, and it was just it was gank central. Right. We've got one resonating school out of those. So this, I think it's probably going to take a while. So I'm probably going to edit some of this down so it's a bit more interesting to watch. But we should, at the very least, ding after killing a couple more of these... Uh, what were they called? Those 
dudes. <laughs> uh, scourge champions. So yeah, there's pl I remember there being plenty around here when we were up here last time. He says, now there's none. Okay, we're back. Let's hand this question to Chromie. Mm, haven't we done this before? Do you have the skulls? They are critical for my spell, which gives us the chance to save Darajir. Maybe. Excellent work, Iron Shepps. Are you certain you haven't done this before? Now, Iron Shepps, you will take part in Battle of Darajir, and you will save Joseph Redpath. Place this relic bundle in the Darashir town square and the spirits of Darashir will rise. Join their battle and ensure that these two things come to pass. Davil must survive beyond the death of Horgus and Redpath must survive to be corrupted, then defeated. After defeating the corrupted Redpath, this is getting quite complex, his spirit will be saved. Speak with him, then return to his daughter Pamela. Okay. Um... Let's do that then. Uh, I'm not entirely sure this is going to be a good idea. From what I remember of this, uh, the battle for Darashir. I mean, look at look at this. This is some. Uh, that's fine, but I couldn't kill all of those. Yeah, from what I remember, I think you get like a. I think I mentioned in a previous episode actually. I think you just get a lot of uh, mobs coming at you. Uh, and I can't kill them that quickly. So let's see. Maybe this will be the end of Iron Sheps. Probably not. Uh, right. Uh, place in Darashir Town Square. I mean, it, it's not a square, is it? It's a circle. Accept Red Path's forgiveness. Oh, we've got a, an actual other player doing this as well. A horde player, no less. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. I really don't know what we're supposed to do. Let's read that again. So, what have we done? This is really bundling the there. And the spirits of Dravid Rose join their battle and ensure that these two things come to pass. Davil must survive. Right, where's Davil? Oh. I've got to be really careful. I'm not sure whether I can target that other player, and if I do, and also attack it, or try to, is he going to flag me for PvP? In fact... Because I'm really not sure, I will do that. There's there's Davil, so let's put a marker on him so we can see him. Just check his health is okay. And there's Horgus the Ravager. Captain Redpath. Where's Captain Redpath? There he is. So we have some elites here. Blood letters. Whoa, alright. Captain Joseph Rebel Crew to kill him quickly. Speak with Joseph Redpath in the centre of Darshire. Done! Well, 
A darkness had fallen over my eyes, but you tore me from my unholy reverie. You saved me, Iron Sheps, and now I beg you to forgive me. Which, uh, we'll, we'll forgive you. As long as we get some XP from, it, from forgiving you. The fighting is over. I heard my daddy whisper to me. He scared away all the ghosts and he says he's coming home. I'm so happy. He also said I should welcome you if you came to our house. So I made some tea. Cool. Well, we get pauldrons or a sweet tempered breastplate. Mm, that is sweet. We'll have that because it's worth more money. Grab the tea. Daddy told me to give you this key. He said it opens a chest out back behind the house. He also wanted me to thank you. Did you do a favour for him? Did you tell him you found my doll? Well, here's the key and thank you, Iron Chips. Thank you, you're a very nice man. Joseph's chest. The chest is old and covered in grime. The key fits a lock and the chest opens. You receive 10,000 XP. Who knew you could store XP in a chest? I didn't. Okay, well, um, that's the Battle for Darashid done. I think... I think I might leave that episode there. Um, so... I think all we've got left to do now at the tower is to take uh, the caravan to the next stop. We've also got this Perinold Tiara quest. What was that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm not going to do that. Well, I might see if there's a, a, a chain to it. But in the next episode, we'll take the caravan and, um, yeah. See, I'm going to a really awkward, jaunty angle here. But uh, I will see you next time.